Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, hey, revelations, and um, the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person. Wow, you're dealing with so fluid how you need to could be moving in together dating somebody could be getting a proposal but remember it's a general reading so just take what's yours and leave the rest behind if it does resonate please make sure that you like and subscribe below also if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading you can find that information below as well all right be careful like um like the thoughts especially uh today because it looks like somebody's like going back and forth between something or just like a, like a lot of confusion a lot of worry and overthinking all right so in the alignment of um uh, the planets today where'd that go it may have something to do with that all right so a lot of air energy leo energy as well okay so it looks like okay and I just want to say just because of the way these cards are coming out and like the the mental carry that somebody like the, the swords mentality like um the mental thoughts the way that mercury and neptune are lining up lining up today it can make us kind of go back and forth with those thoughts and sometimes we can um kind of have a hard time seeing between what's real what's not so we can overlook things so make sure that you don't do that show me the strength card with leo energy just be aware of what's fact and what is um the higher fence source energy and what is um you know anxiety you know, or those like thoughts that our heads can create show me the higher fence hui <laughs> leo taurus energy there's some type of balance being created here um you have the six of wands and the six of pentacles so i mean the, with the knight of cups there it feels like there's something uh pretty sturdy uh somebody is offering up a couple of emotions here and they look pretty proud to be doing so with the six of wands why the six of pentacles though wait and the nine of pentacles damn and the sun you have the six of wands in the sun that's a lot of freaking happiness the um the nine of pentacles can be a card of being single but this can also be something around like cash flow um you're creating that it's like you're really happy in your own space in your own skin you could be getting a raise or something like that financially that creates some type of cash flow could be seen in the public eye if so you have someone watching you there all right um uh, i mean that's a really happy energy you definitely could have show me that knight of cups a love offer or like whatever you're working on financially yeah that's a love offer with the eight of cups this could be something brand new whatever you're working on you could work with this person but whatever you're working on like whatever you're building it's got a lot of stability because it's like you focused on self-love here as well. But this could be somebody completely brand new that's coming in. Um, a totally new offer. Things look really good over there, like financially and career-wise. Extremely happy. Show me this King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. doesn't have to be though this is a pretty uh straightforward person could be like a business part oh it <laughs> just i said that the knight of wands that's kind of weird okay oh, hey, the empress saying the devil i was gonna say that's kind of weird because normally that's not like the type of person who's like knight of wands energy but it's looking like this person is racing straight towards you they may not have they might be kind of like straightforward like with their emotions not really voicing it this is your energy here with the devil but seeing you as the empress you're like 
um, this person is very attracted to you, but you're also like on an independent level doing really well. Show me that Knight of Wands because this is like, that's a pretty fast energy. It's like racing in the Two of Cups. Holy shit. You got love and money coming all around this. The Two of Cups is mutual love. So it's almost like this person is very determined on what they want, possibly communication, but they're coming in as a Knight of Wands. So they're either coming in really quick. Yeah, Aquarius energy with the star. They're hoping this will work out and it's looking like it's something that you've been hoping for as well with the stars some type of wish definitely some of you could be seen like in the public eye or doing something like front and center center stage like a star show me this page of swords for capricorn wait a justice oh boy for some this is a third party situation um some things actually could have been revealed here for the justice card, there could be a legal situation, but there's, even if there's not, there's like some type of, of it feels like setback. I'm going to clarify that justice, but now I look at the bottom of the deck and boy, oh boy, there's so much other stuff for some going on just beyond this. There's like, there could be a third party that was at a distance. Some things could have came to light. Some things could have definitely got revealed there. All right, show me that justice card. Hey, shoot. The lovers. It's like an on off what could have been. But um, with the lovers there, it does, you know, with there is Gemini energy, but there can't always be like a third energy that comes in between it. It doesn't feel like necessarily, I mean, it feels like for some there was definitely a third party there. But for others, it feels like while things are kind of taking off really quick and you went from all independent and things over here, somebody is, there's some type of, maybe is Capricorn not accepting this person? Because there's some type of, shit, there's some type of setback there for the outcome. It's almost like on one side and that brings a lot of worry anxiety fear so that goes back to what i was saying about um mercury and neptune but it's for some this third party that was at a distance like somebody is kind of shutting all the way down and i don't know which way it's going it looks like somebody is making a decision possibly to end something that could have been a marriage or something long term but that's not for all give me one more for the outcome for capricorn the six of swords could be moving could be traveling but it does feel like there's some type of um setback here and i'm not exactly sure what that is this started off so beautiful your finances look great the hangman pisces energy something's kind of hanging it up there so there could be you know some type of delay there could be um gossip around a situation uh, it could be a legal situation it'd be different for each but um with the hangman there pisces energy make sure you're looking at things from all angles all perspectives whichever way that means because you started off really great over here and then there's definitely some type of setback going on over here all right capricorn Remember, it's just a general reading, so just take what's yours and leave the rest. I will talk to you guys later.